Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is an independent presidential candidate. Before we get to the politics, there's a lot of craziness going on, scary stuff on college campus. The president's been hiding. What's going on? I don't know. I mean, it's very, very alarming. It's puzzling because it's happening on the private campuses, and they actually have a lot more leeway for com controlling this. You know, I'm all for peaceful protests, for freedom of speech. But you can't threaten people. You can't intimidate people. You can't trespass. You can't, uh, you can't prevent students from going to their classes. You can't uh, break private property. Those are law enforcement issues. The private campuses can easily redress this. They can end this. The, the state schools have already done it, almost all of them. Oh, and they have a lot less leeway because they're subject to the First Amendment. The private campuses are not. The First Amendment doesn't function on the private campus. Oh, you know, all the private campuses want to have open debate, but, you know, if people are being racist, if they're being anti-Semitic, and I've heard the, the shouts from these crowds, and they're appalling. Yeah, they're oh, just absolutely uh, disgusting. Some of the tactics also pretty disgusting. We're hearing that the Biden legal team is throttling you guys by the throat. What's the truth? You mean my campaign? Yeah, I heard they're brutal. Uh, I mean, we released a poll today. We did, Jesse, the biggest poll that's ever been done, and at least in this presidential campaign. A typical poll has 2,000 people in it. We did a poll of 26,000 people. That, the poll is a value of about $200,000 to $500,000. So we did every state. What that poll shows, if I go head to head with Biden, I win 39 states, he wins 11. If I go head to head with President Trump, I win. If, if, if I'm in, the ra in a three-way race, I lose because people are voting out of fear because they think the other guy, you know, a vote for me is going gonna, is gonna to put somebody they hate in office. But if I go head to head with either of them, I win. So if one of these guys drops out or doesn't run, Joe then Biden or Donald Trump, RFK Jr. will be president. That's right. According to your polling. Yeah, but, you know, and all the polls that have done a two-way race have shown the same thing. I would challenge anybody. Our poll has virtually a zero margin of error. Oh, anybody who does that poll will end up with the same results. I, I beat Biden in a landslide, and I beat President Trump narrowly in the, in the Electoral College. Oh, and that's really what you want to look at, the Electoral College. But I win them. I beat them both in the, uh, in the General Electric and in the Electoral College. Are you going to get on the debate stage with these two guys? And if you do, what's the strategy? Well, there's no compulsory debate. President, Biden, President Trump has challenged President Biden to debate, which I think is a good thing. Um, the, the debates are scheduled. There's three debates that are scheduled beginning on September 18th. I should have a spot in those debates because my polling up till now has, has, been, has beat those metrics. Um, but, you know, you don't know because neither of them, the law uh, you know, allows them to not debate. It's never been done before. But um, how would you do it? I mean, you got one guy over here, you got another guy over here, and you're. What are you going to say? You're going to be like, "Hey, hey, it's my turn." I'm going to no, yeah. I'm going to say, "What were what were the two of you doing when you ran up thirty-four trillion dollar debt? You two alone ran up half of it. We're now paying more than our defense budget to service that debt. Within five years, we'll be paying fifty cents out of every tax dollar." to service the debt. And, you know, that's one issue. And then they both, you know, President Trump said he was going to end the wars. President Biden loves every war that he sees. But President Trump <laughs> last week gave a bear hug to, 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 uh, to Biden and to Speaker Johnson and approved $61 billion to Ukraine. Oh, there's all these really existential issues that neither of them can really deal with. And one of those, Jesse, is the polarization. You know, we're, we are in a more toxic polarization and division than any time since the American Civil War. And President Biden can't solve it. President Trump can't solve it. If either of them get elected, it's just going to get worse because both of them feed on it. Both of them are telling, telling all of to hate the other guy. And we need to have some common ground in America. Well, you're saying you're going to unify the country. Now some dirty stuff's coming out. They're saying you were against voter ID. RFK Jr., you said voter ID was racist. Is that true? 
Maybe. I, don't, I didn't <laughs> see it. But, you know, I look, I had, had a lot of positions. I went through an evolution like many people in this country. And, um, you know, I said things years ago. I had positions years ago that I look back on and say that was not, there was nothing good about that. Um, I think we, you know, listen, I, what I've said on the voter ID issue is that I'm going to issue voter passport, passports, uh, passport IDs to every American who can't afford them. That will end that issue. Okay, because you have to have voter ID to have a clean yeah. election. You got to uh, have that. And, and by the way, Jesse or um, uh, Al Sharpton and, and Andrew Young and other civil rights leaders have said that if I issue that ID, they will, re they will stop their objection to demanding voter ID at the voting booth. All right, Al Sharpton, happy DEI Thursday tomorrow. <laughs> RFK Jr., thanks for joining. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.